Hi guys, last video I showed you how I cloned this large Dota 3D printer. So it's from the Semi CNC articles. The clone, which means I just use their standard to make my own, you know, 3D printer. Uh, today I want to uh, talk more detail of how you confirm this uh, duet to Wi-Fi board. And uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. When you first got this board, you have to use a USB cable, connect to your computer, and uh, set up your Wi-Fi. You know, you have to, you know, Wi-Fi ID, a password, you know, those stuff. I'm not going go through those things because it's very clear on the. Uh, do it Wi-Fi. Uh, do it we uh, website. Uh, I just want to go through, you know, how you actually set up the board with your uh, with your printer. So uh, this is the, you know, uh, your control board website. Uh, the first thing you need to do is a uh, home all. It will go back to the original position, and then you have to you have to measure the distance from the nozzle to the bed. The so note you don't need to be uh, measured very very accurate because we're going to uh, calibrate those things. But you need to you know at least know the idea because you're gonna put a different lines of your rod. You know, uh, once you have this. Uh, Print height measurement, and then you can. Then we're going to change this setting. In the system, there's a confirm file. It's confirm uh, configure g dot g configure dot g. Uh, this file is this is a file. Basically, the all the settings is in there. Uh, yeah, we need to change something there. Uh, the major things. It's this uh, M665 and M666. So these two commands actually tell the control bar uh, what's your data construction. You know, uh, yeah, that's the thing we need to uh, uh, calibrate. So you can see that right now the number have really detailed number there. Uh, you know. We have no way to measure that little detail number like that, right? So that's that's need to the computer to calibrate. So right now we we'll just uh, delete the, all the you know little numbers, okay? <laughs> and then uh, we do the calibration again. Okay, you see that right now the I delete all the detail numbers. So that's more likely the number when you get the printer. Uh, only difference is the H. H is the print height. That you you just measure the height. You can put the number right there, um, and then we do the calibration. We we'll just save this file. So once once you save the file, you will restart the board. Close connection. <laughs> yeah, we gotta connect again, and go back to the dashboard. Uh, home all, home all, and then we do the calibration. G thirty uh, two. This command, so this command G thirty two, so actually let the board to calibrate all your structures. You know, very detail of your structures. So when we run this command, we have the little detail numbers that we need to put in that. Uh, you know, command line. Okay. So when we uh, do the calibration, I just use the menu. I did not put any audio J pop. I uh, just do the menu. Because basically, you don't really need to use the auto prop. Auto prop is kind of make your slow. Because I reprint, you do the prop first, dun, 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 and then you do the print. 
for this kind of uh, printer, you don't have to do that. So once you done the, you know, manually leveling, if you stay there until you actually move your printer, you probably do this calibration again. Otherwise, you will find, you know. So right now we do the manual uh, bed prop. I just use this uh, like a business card to check on the, uh, the distance. You can do check out a uh, couple of spots. Okay, we'll just stand the calibration. So the manual, the bay leveling, I mean, you just uh, feel the pressure from the nozzle to the bay, you know, from your hand. It's pretty accurate. I don't, I don't really, I tried a different uh, auto prop. Uh, not only it's make it slow, it's not really constant. You know, sometimes it's perfect, sometimes it's not. So I still trust my hand, you know. <laughs> okay, once you've done the calibration, you go to the console. Uh, so once you got in the console, you're going to tap these numbers that we need to know. Six, and 6 is 5. So that's a new number for, for your, you know, construction. So you just copy this number. And then the M uh, six six six. Yeah. So the M six six five and the M six six six. So these two lines show you, uh, you know, shows uh, your data constructions. So basically, we we'll just copy these numbers and put it in the file. Okay, we have these numbers, and then we go back to the confirm file, configuration file, configuration file, this file. I'm gonna have to change these numbers right here. Uh, yeah, this is a data ratio, the first one. Copy, paste. And home high, copy, paste. Play, we show where they got that. The X axial has a little uh, angle right here, it plays here. Y has little angle here. We place here. And then um, six 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 and top adjustment. X oh it's, we can just copy the whole right here, right? Copy six 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 right here yeah so yeah that's uh that's your uh, data construction we already finished here and we save you will restart the board okay once uh, the board restart we do the home all first yeah every time i do the home all first and then we run the g29 so the G29 actually gave you, uh, you know, your bait leveling, its height map. If if any place a little bit higher than another, it's give you generate a mesh map. So every print you go to reload this uh, mesh map, so make a first layer perfect printing, and uh, we run this uh, 
deep twenty nine. Yeah. So yeah, once you uh, done this uh, bay leveling, and then you can check on the highest map right here. Uh, they will show you, <laughs> you know, your bay actually, you know, is kind of look like this. So, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the the computer will figure out. You know. <laughs> okay. So basically, you done the every setup right here. And we go back to the confirm G, uh, you know, so the M665 and M666, so you have correct setting and you uh, manually uh, leveling the bay. Uh, those are put in the, you know, uh, highest map and every print you just load the highest map and you will print pretty, pretty good, pretty constantly, you know. Uh, another thing you need to uh, set up is this uh, M92. So M92 is uh, talk about the, the distance, uh, you know, the print distance, the step mode, the step motor move distance for your print. So sometimes when you print, you feel like a this is a smaller than what I saw, right? <laughs> and you can actually measure it's smaller, maybe, or even bigger. So that's the uh, things you you need to, uh, you know, uh, you need to uh, calibrate here. Uh, let's show you uh, some simple one to calibrate. So when you want to calibrate X, Y, Z, you actually have to print a cube. I usually print is a cube and just measure the cube so to figure out the XYZ one and the cube uh, G code is already in the file so you can print to measure that uh, but the extruder I just I can just show you right here uh, let's go back to the console oh it's already here oh. you close this file go to the dashboard So we go to exclusion, you know, something. But right now you can see this is a gray because the nozzle is not heat. So we got to turn the heat first. And uh, we just take out this little part here. So I just temporarily take out this part. And uh, I put a little mark here. So that's, uh, it's not really clear actually. So just uh, put a little mark here, so you can measure the distance, you know. And then you just do the extrusion for 100, 100 millimeter, and then you can just measure if it's 100 millimeter or not, you know. Measure the distance here. So 100.5. <laughs> You know, this is a pretty accurate because I already done that. I mean, if it's not accurate, and then you can change this, and I'll show you how to change this. So you can change this, uh, this settings. Uh, we just uh, done this uh, extrusion. So if the number is not right, you can just change this number. That's for the extrusion. And uh, you can print the cube, if it's uh, when you measure it's not right, you can use a uh, formula, use that formula to change this, uh, you know, uh, step motor, the distance, the setting. Yeah, that's another calibration that you need to done for your uh, printer. Uh, yeah, other than this too, uh, you don't you don't have to change everything else. Uh, um, at least you want to add something by yourself, you know. Because like I said, I don't put that many fans here. You definitely can add more fan. And by the board, you know, this part is a fan. You can add up to five fans. <laughs> That's a lot of fans. A lot of noise you can hear. Because we turn 
Because we turn the heater on, that's why you hear the fans turn on. Oh, need to turn on this temperature back to zero. Okay. Yeah, once the temperature goes down, the heater, will, the fans will turn off. Uh, yeah, there, there are many options for the board. Uh, like I said, this is a quite, you know, learning machine to uh, actually teach you to learn a lot of stuff uh, for the 3D printing. So if you're really interested to learn more 3D printing, how the machine works, this is a really great opportunity. And like I said, uh, my setup is only one fourth of their price. I mean, if you go to the Semi Sensei website, the machine they right now sell $1,700. Yeah, something around $1,700. And my setup is only three ninety nine. Right now it's on sale. Um, you can get this and learn the whole stuff for the three D printer. That's fine. I mean, I, I really enjoy to you know <laughs> to figure out to solve the problems. You know, and if you want to learn more um, about the setting of the uh, Duet Wi Fi board. And yeah, just leave me a comment. I definitely get back to you. And uh, yeah, that's today's topic. And uh, we'll see you next time.